Number 22. An element has the following natural abundances and isotopic masses. 90.92% abundance with 19.99 AMU, 0.26% abundance with 20.99 AMU, and 8.82% abundance with 21.99 AMU. Calculate the average atomic mass of this element. Okay, so... Before we get into this, this is a super easy question, but it will be even easier if we take a step back and we talk about how we calculate grades, right? So let's just say in your specific chemistry class, you're only based off of your tests, right? And there's four tests, right? So there's test number one, test number two, test number three, and then test number four. And let's just say that test number one is 10% of the grade. Test number two is 20%. Test number three is 30%. And that gets me to 50, 60. So test number four would have to be 40%. So it would basically be kind of like a final. Okay. Now let's see, how do we calculate our overall grade? Well, First, you would have to find out all of your grades from what you got. Let's just say that you got a 90. Let's just say you got a 90. Yeah, we'll just say a 90 on the first test. And then we'd kind of drop to a 75. Maybe we didn't study too much for that one. But then we picked it up on test three. We got an 82. And then finally for test four, you aced it. You got a 95. What would be our overall grade? Well... What we always do is the first thing is that you have to take these percentages out of their percentage form and put them into a decimal form. So just know that if you're working with a percentage and you want to get to its decimal equivalent, all you got to do is just divide by 100. And if you want to go backwards from its decimal equivalent, so I'll just put EQ, you, all you got to do is times by 100. So kind of know that, you know, back and forth way of going from a percentage to the decimal equivalent. So whenever you're using a percentage, you always got to just divide by 100. So in this case, if we divide each one of these by 100, this is roughly 0.1. This would be 0.2. This would be 0.3. And this would be 0.4. So... Another way is that you could always just move the decimal to the left two times. So here was my decimal here, one, two. That's why it's point one, and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah? Now you take these percentages and you multiply them with the grades that you got. So here I'm going to take 90 times point one, 75 times point two. 82 times 0.3, and 95 times 0.4. And from there, you will add them up to get... Oh, gosh, what was that? You will add them up to get your total grade. That is not coming off. We're just going to keep going. <laughs> so you're going to just add them up, and that would be your final grade. Yeah. So now here's exactly the same thing, but now we're just talking about average atomic mass. Average atomic mass, I'm just going to put this as AAV. Oh, sorry, AAM. So AAM, average atomic mass, is just equal to the sum of all of your isotopes times by their decimal percentage. That's it. Just like we did here. We broke it up into the four different tests. We times them by the decimal percent, and then we just added it up. That's what the sum means. Sum just means to add. So let's list them out. I'll just say that this one isotope, this one was number one, this one is number two, and this one is number three. So... We got 90.92% and we have a um, mass AMU of 
0.99. The next one is 0.26%, and that's with 20.99. And then the next one is 8.82%, and that's 21.99. Okay. Well, first things first, we got to take all of these, these percentages, and put them into their decimal. So you could just move the decimal over twice, or you can divide by 100. Whatever you feel more comfortable with, go with that. So I'm just going to say that this is the same thing as 0 0.9092. This would be 0 0.0026, and this would be 0 0.0882. And those are the numbers that you multiply with their masses, their isotopic masses. Isotopic mass times natural abundance. So it will be 19.99 times 0 0.9092. 20.99 times 0 0.0026. 21.99 times 0 0.0882. Let's get those numbers. So, calc time. Get your calculators out. 19.99 times 0 0.9092. 18.9092. 18.9092. Now, I say AMU because that's what the masses were in, so it stays exactly the same. AMU, AMU, AMU. 20.99 times 0 0.0026. You get 0. Point, now, there should be four. Um, actually, there should be two sig figs here. So 0 0.055 AMU. Okay. And then 21.99 times 0 0.0882, you get 1.94. How many sig figs should be here? Three. So 1.94. There you go. And then what are we going to do after these? Oh, we just add them all together. That's the sum. So I just add these all together. So 18.17 plus 0 0.055 plus 1.94, I get 20.165 AMU. However, we have to do our sig fig rules for adding and subtraction because this is addition. So the lowest after the decimal was two sig figs. So this five will just turn that six into a seven, right? So your answer would be 20.17. A M U. Box that answer off. That is the average atomic mass of this element. Easy as that. So, you guys not only learned how to do it for chemistry, right? Find an average atomic mass, but you could do this with all of your classes as well. This is how you find out your total scores, basically. All right? So hopefully this helped. If it did, click the subscribe button. We got tons more chemistry questions, physics questions, and more subjects in the future coming for you guys. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you guys all in the next question. Have an awesome day.